All right, let's continue back uh, processing uh, our image here. Um, let's uh, use our our ha image here again, and let's use our our colors here. So if we add a little bit more red, I could do it. Put a curve on the red. Don't like what that does. The little green on there. A little blue. Nope. Let's see what a little red does. So I'll toggle things off and on. And let's see what if we invert this mask, what it does. This is dropping some of the green. So eliminate some of the green, but it darkens the image pretty good. So you gotta make sure you kind of bring it back up in in all the other channels. Yeah, we wanted to just change the uh, the appearance of it. If we and let's toggle all things on and off. Just drop this a little bit there. So off and on. Okay. Let's go ahead and apply that. All right, so I'll go ahead, let's go to our magenta. And we do again, uh, if pop our reds, it's gonna make that definitely. If we remove the red and go and darken the image chiller. So if you add a little bit of green, Okay. Let's do a mask and invert. Alrighty, and it's not, uh, you know, I'm not getting much of a difference there. Um, so let's go ahead and let's work with our cyan mask one more time. See what we can do. 
Oh, sorry, didn't mean to do that. So let's undo that. All right, this is what I meant. Let's see our blue. Our green. Let's see what our red does. much to do much to do anything uh, let's see what uh, on a curve on there Alright, I'm going to just try to use that there, off and on, and that really doesn't do much of a difference. So, if we've gotten to a point where, you know, the image looks looks pretty good there, um, you know, again, we can see that uh, what we've done to it um, really does not, uh, has not involved a lot of noise generation um, you know things things are looking great there if you still need to eliminate some of the blues in some areas uh, let's go ahead and remove this mask you can generate different kinds of masks using uh, mask uh, generation and range selection and here you can choose to just target your your darker areas increase your your fuzziness there and then make sure you smooth things out and hit OK so let's go ahead and apply that and I'm going to do the mask uh, invert mask and let's use our histogram and see you know, if let's just run some of the red. Uh, let's show the mask. Okay, good. Unshow the mask there. Maybe eliminate. All right, so um, let's go ahead and minimize this. Now we have our luminance data. Uh, sometimes, you know, this image, this image can stand alone, uh, be your your final image. Uh, but sometimes, when you do use these masks, uh, and if they are pretty smooth, they may introduce some, just some, uh, just some artifacts or just some blurriness to the image. Um, so if you want to revert back to your LRGB, um, I'll just unclick that because we already did that. You could try to do it again, see if it does anything different. But let's go ahead and, and uh, actually mask, uh, remove mask. Don't put a mask on that. And just go ahead and apply your original luminance, which is going to be your, your, your smoothest image. Um, and let's see what it uh, what it does here. Okay, so as you can see, uh, you know, definitely that does not look better uh, per se as this does. So if you do this, uh, we may have to play with our luminance mask and applying it as a mask. 
uh, or even our hydrogen alpha data and seeing where where things can improve or let's do enable the mask Let's try hydrogen alpha mask. Let's see what that does. Mask. Enable mask. Give that a try. Mask invert. Let's put it on this. And I'm not liking it, uh, what it does there. So that was a lot better there. Let's go ahead and see what this does. LRGB combination if we use the HA mask. back and forward Alright, let's see if we can do something different here. Uh, let's compare our luminance. So our luminance is going to be up here. Our HO image. Yeah, it's a little bit wider there. So let's take our lens. that a little bit bright. Hello GP combination. Let's use our luminance.
All right, so uh, I had paused it just to figure out, uh, you know, we've been trying to apply some luminances and they're not uh, quite working out uh, how I, I want them to. So um, let's go ahead and uh, actually take this image and just decrease the 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 actual I'll just decrease it to about there and hit OK. Your your data over here has to match in a sense the amount of, of luminosity that you're putting for it to give you the, the right combination uh, of colors. So sometimes you have to play with the color the SHO essentially the color image to to match what the luminance can give you. So in the previous ones, the darker the colors were just getting too deep and too saturated, um, and I was not liking what what things were turning out to. So, um, but this over here, this is a little bit better. And I'm just trying to go from from there to there. Image doesn't look bad there. And again, at any point you can call it quits and stop. And if you're happy with the image, then then you're happy. Um, you know, this is just you know a, a process of going through things, and still that uh, you can continue to um, you can continue to reapply the masks uh, to things to to kind of tweak tweak things there. So don't uh, don't think that at any point you're good point it's it's based on you know what you want to do with the image and and what you're happy with. okay and let's uh, apply our Hydrogen alpha as a mask. And let's see what uh, this does to lighten it. Put a little bit of a contrast curve, if you like. You know, people get too crazy putting, you know, very very high contrast curves. Like I said, I like the ultra subtle subtleties to the images. I mean, if you want to put a little bit there. That's that's fine. Let's say we stop it at there and just toggle things off and on and see see where you're at. Off and on, all right. All right, and that is, uh, like I said, not a bad image. It's it's kind of real nice and clean. Not a lot of uh, contrast, but the, the structures are there. Um, you know, this is kind of just very basic to kind of get you away from, you know, over-processing, just do something a little bit more simple uh, with the color masks, some luminance uh, applications and things like that, um, and see, uh, you know, see if you're getting better results with your images. I'm going to stop here and then uh, I'll come back and do a little bit more.